<laughs> Communion Sunday. Amen. Time for us to have a little talk with Jesus. Just before we begin to eat the bread of life. Hallelujah. Have a little talk with him. Let him know I ain't right, but I know right here and right now. You can make it right. Yes, yes. Praise the Lord. We ask you, Ben and Carol, to read 31, 32, 33, and 34. Our fathers did eat manna in the desert. As it is written, he gave them bread from heaven to eat. 32. Then Jesus said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Moses gave you not that bread from heaven, but my Father gave you the true bread from heaven. 33. For the bread of God, is he which cometh down from heaven and giveth life unto the world. Then said they unto him, Love, Lord, evermore give us this bread. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. You may be seated. The word is already Bless. been blessed. All right, sir. Thank you, my I'd like to take it just a verse further. And Jesus said unto them, I am the bread of life. Yes, yes, he, he did. He that cometh to me yes. shall never hunger. Oh, yeah. Shall never hunger. And he that believeth never, on me yes. shall never thirst. Amen. I want to talk for a little while about the time I, I use for a topic. He is the bright light. He is the bright light. The bright light. Can you tell somebody he is? He is the bright light. Praise the Lord. And you be with me just for a little while. And if you don't be with me, it don't make no difference. The Holy Spirit is here. And I got the Holy Spirit. I, I got everything I need. Hmm? He is the bright light. For it said that. Uh, and Jesus said again, I want to say unto him, I am the bread of life. Right there. I am the bread of life. I remember the scripture said, let your light so shine. So men and women can see your good works. And glorify your Father which is in heaven. So that let me know today that I don't care how dark it gets in New York. I don't care how dark it get in Chicago. I know the bright light. Hmm? And that light that shines within. Can I get a witness to me? You need to understand that we don't live for ourselves. But we're living for Jesus. Huh? We can't do nothing of ourselves. We can't even breathe on our own. So let me tell you, don't get high-minded in what you're doing. Don't get high-minded in how God will bless you. Because low is the way. Huh? But I'm glad today, I don't know about you, I, I, don't, know, I don't know about you, but I'm glad today that one Thursday, I got acquainted with the bright light. I don't know your day. Maybe your day ain't even came yet, but just keep on praying. Keep on seeking. Uh, just before I go in there, I need mm. can I call on one witness? I need a witness here. Y'all don't know nothing about it. Can I have Saul? Huh? Saul described it. He was a man that was able to do all things. And he was on a mission. I know we would have long, but I'd just like to say that when Saul made the wrong turn, because he went in and got on the road to the master, the Bible said that a light shined from heaven, knocked him off his beast. So that let me know right there, he is the bright light. Shining. Saul began to say, Who art thou? I don't recognize your name. But I start by to tell you, when the Lord speaks to you, you will know who he is. He is the bright.
occupied. Yeah. I like to play Sunday school this morning because it talked about take a stand. And I'd like to know today, New Beginner, who are you standing for? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. I hope you make the right stand. Yeah. Because when you get a little weak, yeah. you need to be standing on the word. Yeah. The reason why, because the word will, yeah. will make you strong. Yeah. Can I get a witness today? Yeah. Oh, y'all don't know nothing about the bright light, do you? Yeah. Let me hear you then. If you know something about it, you know you've been born again. Let me all talk back to me today. Huh? Our Father did eat manna in the desert. The Bible said, as it is written, He gave them bread from heaven to eat. That's got to be some good bread, ain't it? Yes, huh? Amen. Look who gave it to you. All right, you got bread from heaven. Yes. Then Jesus yes. said unto them, All right. Very, 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 I say unto you, yes. Moses, give you not uh -huh. that bread from heaven. Yes. Huh? But my father give you the true bread from heaven. You do remember, don't you? When there was a lady and her son, me and Belle had got low. And a man came by, wanted something to eat. The Bible said, when he asked, the mother respond was, we only have a little meal. Yeah. And we're going to fix this and for my son and I are going to die. But, but one thing about it, she did not know that God had sent bread from heaven. But good God Almighty, oh, you know the story. After she did what she's supposed to be doing, the meal bath filled up. Ain't that all right? Good God Almighty, I stopped by to tell you, whatever you need, God got it. Yes, he has. And he said, for the bread of God, he healed. He went coming down from heaven and give light unto the world. I wonder why it didn't say he give light to those who love the Lord. But see, Jesus, he ain't like you and I. Somebody that can do something for us, that's who we lean on. But Jesus covered the whole world. He said, I am the light Y'all don't want to have sin. Because we the light of the world that took me out of darkness. Good God Almighty, I'm glad about it. They said, them unto the Lord and more. Give us this bread. And Jesus said unto them, I am the bread of life. He that cometh to me, good God of mine, shall never hunger. And he that believe on me shall never thirst. The reason why I am the bread of life. But you also remember when he met the woman at the well and good God Almighty, he asked her for a drink of water. But then he told her, if you only knew 